de Pirul. Yo tengo otra cosa que darte. Ay, de Mi amor de rosa. Ya de Pirul, sale. You can't get no more street art than us. When you're out here on the sidewalk making a living, that's street art. I make it out of whatever I can find. I came to Florida in 1988 to Key West and I ended up going to Fort Pierce. And that's where I got my very first hands-on experience and art history here in Florida. From Bob's Trophy Master Fish Mounts and Taxidermy, where you can mount your fish and eat it too. Everglades is uh, is a pretty special place. You know, everyone thinks of the Everglades as being this magical place where you come and, and there's just fish everywhere because it's it's untouched. But uh, in in reality, it's such a large area and such a large body of water that when you come here, I personally don't come here to catch fish. I come for uh, to explore new areas and see different places that possibly someone's never even even fished before. You never know. Has someone been back in this no motor zone before? You just see him right there? Nice cast. He's on it. He's on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah mother. That was epic. Uh, I'm Frank Salas and uh, I'm from Cuba. Uh, look at me closely. Yo soy el único cubano que le gusta fly fishing que no habla inglés, okay? The Everglades. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, uh, it's something so big, you know, that uh, it's, like, it's like a friend 
that you you think you ever gonna get to know him fully you know you know what I'm saying it's so big so big so big that sometimes you're gonna wrap it you know but you can't man you can it means a lot to me it means a lot you know just just to get in the boat and, and get off the ramp and go running at, at, at sunset you know that silent you only see you only hear you more and you say oh it's gonna be a great day it's gonna be a great day I always uh, sing a little song that my friend <laughs> he laughed a lot I said it's a beautiful morning it's a beautiful morning <laughs> he laughs a lot uh, nah, I don't care shit, but anyway, I have an option that I want to go. Alex Russell. Uh, I'm originally a Yankee, born in Cincinnati, Ohio, but I've lived down here in Florida for many, many, many years. Mostly Tampa, but recently, within the past three years or so, uh, I live down here in Homestead, Florida, right next to Everglades National Park, which is where I work out of. I'm a wilderness guide. I work for tours in the glades here at the Everglades International Hostel. Ever since I was a little kid, I remember coming into the park and just being at awe with the place. It is a rich, rich ecosystem, not just a ecosystem, it's nine different ecosystems which you're not going to find anywhere else in the world, the amount of space that it occupies, uh, the biodiversity there, can't find it anywhere else, especially in the United States of America. had to get to Flamingo so I got there like 4 a.m. in the morning with my aluminum boat and I was driving and driving and saying what the hell am I am I going oh my god what is that you know that narrow road going nowhere locations within the backcountry at certain times of the year and find the fish that you are not expecting to find from big laid up snook that are just basking there in the shallows, uh, big mamas, I'm talking 36, 38 inches. If you're willing to go above and beyond what most people are willing to do, if you're willing to go take your canoe and take the motor off the back of it to go into some of these no motor zones and paddle or push pull and fight through cobwebs and spider legs, you can go in and look in these creeks and you can find snook and, and redfish and tarpon and all kinds of crazy things.
Eric Estrada. I am from South Florida. Been fishing the Everglades since 2009. Somehow found our way into Hell's Bay. We took the knowledge that we had of bass fishing in the canals locally and started finding structure and currents and started catching snook. We ended that day with 27 snook and it was done, it was over. I was hooked on the Everglades. It's 11.30 right now in Isla Mirada. We just fished the backcountry all day today. I'm gonna drive six hours back to Tampa and there's sights of bonefish tipping up and tailing around me. Is it gonna sound? Because I hear the air conditioner. I think somebody else is up. <laughs> Told me to hold his <laughs> Stop holding his I won't fight you either. I'll take that rod out of your hand quick. Man, shoreline, you know, feel the top. We got it. Feels good. 